to three o'clock. Let's talk handcuffs. Would carrying handcuffs around with you make you feel safer? That's a serious question. The course is coming to Birmingham in May, which teaches people how to use handcuffs and protect themselves from possible criminals. Bodyguard to the stars, David Simmons, is bringing his unique handcuff training to the city and thinks everyone should carry a pair of handcuffs. He thinks they are the perfect deterrent for any muggers or other lowlifes. He joins me now. Good afternoon, David. Hi, Danny. Hi. I'm just trying to think, David. This is a serious proposal. Everybody listening should invest in handcuffs. Yeah, absolutely. Um, handcuffs are, and have been for over 100 years, uh, a very safe form of uh, restraint and containment. As an expert bodyguard, David, I can see, and I'm looking at a photo of you, and you are fighting fit, you're ex-police force, and you've been trained in how to deal with possible criminals. But I'm just thinking, for the average person out there, just explain what your course is going to teach them to do. Well, first of all, obviously, um, we uh, adhere to the law um, at all times. So a lot of the course is, um, is about law and uh, introducing people to it and how they can use it to help them and stay on the right side of it, uh, as well as, obviously, the actual, um, the actual practical side of uh, handcuffing somebody. OK, so let's just use a, a case study then. When would you expect, or on your training courses, when would you expect somebody to actually take the handcuffs out of their pocket and put them on somebody's wrist? It's just a typical case study. Uh, well, everybody's um, obliged in um, common law uh, to, um, if they come across an incident taking place, if they're able to, they should um, get involved to protect themselves to protect other people uh, and also to protect property as well. Uh, these, are the, these are the basic characteristics of somebody that, that could possibly um, get involved using handcuffs. Um, they're, they're actually a good deterrent as well. If you, if you actually bring out a pair of handcuffs, um, people are seriously going to think twice. Um, they're actually quite, they're actually as, as effective, I'd say, as a personal protection weapon. Uh, i.e. a sidearm or something like that, that that you can use in another country but you can't use in the UK. Uh, but they're obviously a lot safer. Uh, you can't shoot anyone with them. They're, um, they're, they're a very safe form of containment. Um, so that's, uh, that's why we... Um, we say that people should, should think about carrying them. Well, listen, let's open this up to the lines. It's a serious question. Would you consider, and this is the audience I'm talking to, would you consider carrying a set of handcuffs, maybe in your handbag, or maybe on your person, should you bump into trouble on the streets and do you feel that you'd be capable in putting those handcuffs on the alleged offender? Seriously, it's a serious question. Would you feel confident in actually carrying handcuffs and putting them on the wrists of a perp? Whatever they've done. 03453 009956. 03453 David, I'm just thinking, I'm walking down the road, minding my own business, and a couple of tow rags come up to me and say, Give me your wallet. And they've maybe got a little blade on them. I take my handcuffs out of my jeans, and then what happens? Well, um, first of all, you've got to assess the situation for safety. Obviously, your safety is paramount. Um, if you think you're in, in that kind of threatening situation, um, I would probably run the other way, uh, to be honest. Um, but it, really, if you're in a situation that you can't get out of, um, if there's a way out, take it. If there's a situation you can't get out of and you feel comfortable uh, detaining somebody, that's when the handcuffs come into uh, to operation. You see, I think you, you're perfect to actually restrain somebody, David, being an ex-cop. And also, again, you're fighting fit physically as well. You could. I would have every confidence, David, in you being able to pacify and then restrain people. I, I, I'm just concerned that people are going to go on this course, invest in a set of handcuffs, and then get themselves into a little bit of trouble. Yep. OK. Um, well, it is all about technique. Um, and, and often, and like I said, um, having them is, is, is a great visual deterrent. Um, yeah, this course wouldn't be for everybody, but there are certain there are certain people out there that would feel confident. Um, I'm doing this kind of thing. Um, I, I can imagine that a lot of your listeners um, have been in a situation before, or seen a situation taking place where they thought, you know, why don't why don't we why don't we why don't we you know we stop that guy from doing what you're doing? 
Um, you know, we can hold him until the police arrive. You know, this, this person needs to be arrested. This person needs to face justice. Um, and really, you've got no other options uh, other than physical, physically holding on to somebody. And that in itself can actually cause all kinds of problems. Um, it's actually more dangerous to hold somebody and detain them and stop them from moving uh, than it is to actually handcuff them. Uh, it takes a lot more people as well to do that kind of thing. Uh, and in the past, in fact, only last year, I don't want to go into too much detail, but there was a case in, um, in a major city on the south coast where uh, a robber went into um, a bookmaker's uh, with the intention of robbing it, allegedly. And uh, the members of staff and some of the, um, some of the customers actually um, detained the guy, subdued him. Um, and and the, only, the only way they could actually hold him um, was to sit on him. Uh, and tragically, that guy died. Yeah, they killed uh, him. Yeah, I remember that. Well, yeah, he, he died of positional asphyxia um, because the only, the only solution that the people in that in that shop had that they thought they had was to actually contain him by basically sitting on him um, like a rugby scrum, um, which is obviously very dangerous. But if one person in that shop, either be a customer or a member of staff, had a pair of handcuffs that they were licensed and, and trained to use, that guy could have been handcuffed, sat in a chair in the corner, and wait for the police to arrive. Let me just read a few text messages. We've had a lot of people who are ringing and texting in the studio. Some of them are very complimentary, David, but again, I take the audience back to, you know, you, you're a former bobber, you're used to a bit of criticism. Uh, what a nutter. Uh, one text that says, um, this bloke's an idiot, I'd bang his lights out before he could cuff me. What would you say to that? Uh, well, obviously everybody's got their own opinion, but until you're in a situation where possibly you might need to do uh, something, uh, then it's, um, you can't really say until you're in that situation. No, and I've got to say, you know, you're listening to, you, you are a professional bodyguard as well, so it's all very well, you know, sitting behind a computer and texting the studio saying this guy's an idiot. Uh, I'd like to see you try and bang this fella's lights out. Uh, let's make, let's uh, here's another one. Danny, uh, yeah, this is a, a, a very valid point, David. You know, how do you know you're not going to have people on your course who are going to be muggers, who are just going to take advantage of what you teach them and then use handcuffs? Um, well, you see, it's quite easy to use a, a pair of handcuffs uh, untrained. Uh, what our course is about is actually training people to stay within the law. Um, so anybody can buy a pair of handcuffs, um, and I'm sure um, in robberies that does happen anyway. I mean, in robberies people are tied up, uh, whether it's with tape or, or handcuffs or, um, or plastic handcuffs. Uh, so that kind of thing does happen anyway. I really don't think somebody would actually bother to come on my course um, to learn how to, to learn all about the law and, and the safety side of it, uh, to do that, honestly. Okay, David, can I thank you for your time? What's your website, Dave? It's uh, handcuffedtraining.co.uk. And have you had a lot of people apply to come on the course? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, it's very popular. Um, can, I, can I just say that it's also very good for retail staff. Um, we're actually training um, certain retail staff um, that are involved in things called Shop Watch, uh, which is... Um, operating in some areas whereby um, retail trade get together and share intelligence about known offenders um, and they're all in two-way radio contact um, and what we do is we train one designated member of staff in each of those shops um, uh, so they can actually perform a proactive um, deterrent um, in detaining somebody um, even just a sign a sign stating um, that the shop staff here um, on this premises carry handcuffs in defense of the lawful arrest of offenders just just things like that can actually deter a crime from happening ever in the first place. Okay, David, thanks very much indeed. David Simmons there. Over to you. Would you carry a set of handcuffs? Seriously, would you feel confident in using a set of handcuffs in a situation where you feel threatened or maybe just doing your public duty? As David alluded to at the beginning of our chat, it is our public duty to actually try and intervene when you see crime taking place. It's uh, okay.